Do you still remember what you dreamt of being as a child? I, for example, adored the Marvel Cinematic Universe and dreamed of being a superhero like Iron Man. And if now these memories make you smile, think about whether this is really so unrealistic. Today, science can make you a cyborg with superpowers even cooler than Iron Man. In this video, you're going to learn how to upgrade your body and no, not fight with the villains right and left, but at least impress your friends from Tinder with your limitless possibilities. Run faster than a car, get steel muscles, and eyes with night vision and built-in binoculars. Today, an artificial human organ is no longer John Silver's wooden leg or Captain Hook's universal weapon. This is Oscar Pistorius. In the 400-meter race, he performed much better than his completely healthy competitors. And these are his carbon fiber cheetah flex foot prostheses. They consist of interwoven carbon fiber strands that are arranged in a matrix of polymer resins. This material is stronger and more rigid than high-strength steel, but it's much lighter. Spring-loaded prostheses give the athlete a significant advantage over ordinary runners. You can also attach an electric motor to them. Very soon, such prostheses will become a familiar thing, like glasses or braces are today. By the way, glasses may have disappeared by then. A fully artificial cornea called Corny K Pro restored vision to a 78-year-old man after a 10-year period of complete blindness. Next, implants of the pupils and retinas of the eye, built-in lenses, and night vision devices. What about artificial muscles? Some were developed by an international team of scientists from the University of Texas at Dallas. They're made up of nanotubes 10,000 times thinner than a human hair and 85 times stronger than natural muscles. The strength of these muscles is such that an ordinary person cannot cope with them. You need a whole system of organs that ensures the operation of the prosthesis. And then bioprinting comes to the rescue. It takes about two hours to print a small bone to a patient. This method of 3D printing of cartilage will revolutionize medicine. We use bioprinting to create blood vessels. Our printer can print skin cells directly on the burn wound. In the coming years, such 3D printing will begin to use materials that not only copy the tissues of the human body, but also give your organs new properties. The eyesight of an eagle, the speed of a cheetah, ultra-strong bones, and powerful super muscle. The possibilities of turning into Iron Man will no longer be a fantasy. But to control artificial organs, it's not enough to install an implant. You need to connect it to your brain to fully control it. Bionic prostheses come to the aid in the control of artificial organs. These hands are controlled by special sensors that read signals from the human nervous system and transmit them to the bioprosthesis control system. You just have to mentally try to perform the action, and the prosthesis will work out the command. Squeeze your fingers, extend your hand for a handshake, pat on the shoulder. For example, the Tasca Hand Bionic Prosthesis allows you to peel potatoes, click a computer mouse, or hold cutlery. Today and tomorrow, such a thing will control the console of a spaceship when an astronaut is overworked and loses the strength to move, or with one blow, will break down the door of a drug house in an attack by a police squad. And the Guardian Exo Exoskeleton, just think, is supposedly designed for loading luggage at airports. Can you believe it? I've seen a similar device many times in fantasy action movies, and I know for sure 
When the exoskeletons go into mass production, in these hands won't be a suitcase, but a heavy machine gun. But here a logical question arises. Why should we duplicate human organs or limbs if we can design more convenient and functional ones? Meet this model Kelly Knox and her tentacle. The vine arm prosthesis contains 26 separate vertebrae. It moves as you like at completely unimaginable angles. And most importantly, it's completely controlled by the owner. Now, you don't need to be attached to the usual shapes and sizes. How about a shark body for scuba diving? Or a shell in the shape of a giant spider for working in the mountains? This never would have occurred to Iron Man. It's easy to imagine that a bioengineer of the future will be able to assemble any structure, combine the best qualities of different existing species in one body, and even invent the bodies and organs of new, fantastic creatures. Such cyborgs can be created specifically for the conditions of different planets, their gravity, and the composition of the atmosphere. And their bodies can even be equipped with various types of weapons. So, the opportunity to surpass Iron Man is getting closer, but still the main advantage of a person is not steel claws, teeth, power, speed, and other physical qualities. In the process of evolution, intelligent man won the competition from much more dangerous rivals due to a completely different advantage, the brain. The ability to make decisions, analyze the phenomena of the surrounding world, and use the knowledge gained to your advantage. And even the strongest and fastest man in invulnerable armor, without his brain, is no more than a stupid machine. Surprisingly, here comes to the rescue, yes, again, Elon Musk. His neurotechnology startup Neuralink has developed a special interface for connecting the brain to a computer. We have a monkey with a wireless implant in its skull, and it can play video games with its mind. The implanted device is invisible, and the monkey is happy. Neuralink expects the experimental monkeys to play intelligent ping-pong with each other, and soon I'll show you how they fight each other in video games. Elon Musk promised to conduct the first experiments on the human brain at the end of 2020. If the first monkey with a brain chip played on a computer, what will be the capabilities of the human brain? You'll remember the smallest details of your life, solve the most complex mathematical problems in your mind, and analyze the stock market news in seconds. Today it's difficult to even imagine what a cyborg with such a modernized brain would be capable of. But I know for sure that I wouldn't sit down to play poker with them. However, with such revolutionary inventions, there's always the other side of the coin. This is an ordinary lab rat, and it's controlled by a normal smartphone app. The device in its skull receives signals from researchers and transmits impulses to the rodent's neural network, completely controlling its behavior. This device can be used anywhere and at any time to control neural circuits. The fact that we can control the behavior of animals simply by manipulating a smartphone app is very interesting and stimulates a lot of imagination. The choice, of course, is yours. But I wouldn't get a super brain implant knowing that someone could control it with a Korean smartphone. So you can keep your ordinary brain at the risk of losing to adventurous competitors. But you will be completely sure that your decisions are made only by you and no one else. But even with a simple human brain, your capabilities are significantly expanded. Why do you need to create a super body for yourself, organ by organ, if there's a more obvious and shorter way? 
to implant your brain in a ready-made perfect structure. Of course, it's not necessary to cut off your head and try to implant it in the body of the machine. But loading a digital copy of your consciousness into the processor that controls the bio-machine and taking control of its powerful mechanism, isn't that the way to digital immortality? After all, if you can change your body to a new one entirely, or alternatively replace the organs that have served their time, your consciousness will exist for thousands of years without aging. But would your almost eternal and powerful mind need any body at all? I don't think you would be thinking about the strength of your hands or your visual acuity. Imagine that. Your digital consciousness would be able to take turns or simultaneously control any bodies and mechanisms, whether it was a mechanical excavator or a cargo space shuttle. You wouldn't need a bed to rest your tired body. To travel, it would be enough to send a digital signal, a copy of your consciousness, to the selected point and your friends from Tinder. However, yes, sometimes the human body can be useful to you. You know, better to let the dream of becoming Iron Man remain in childhood. Today, I have better ideas. Let us know in the comments what you would improve with yourself, or would you prefer to leave everything unchanged?